Also on the international front, Israel has resumed its attacks in the Gaza Strip, reportedly killing at least seven people. Israel, meanwhile, says that it had detected dozens of rockets fired by Hezbollah. Cha Yun Gyeong has the latest. As you can see, as you can hear, as you can hear, as you can hear, there's strike, there's strike, as you can see. According to residents in Gaza City's Shejaya neighborhood, as well as Hamas, the Israeli army resumed its large-scale operation in the Gaza Strip on Thursday local time, rolling in tanks and firing in the early afternoon with drone attacks also after an overnight bombing. This is the occupation, as you can see. This is the occupation. This is the occupation targets, as you can see. You can just watch the children, targeting children here in the Shia neighborhood. The Palestinian civil defense says at least seven Palestinian people were killed in the strikes and numerous people were injured by the Israeli army's attack. The rescue teams had to dig out wreckage from collapsed houses to find survivors. The Israeli army has portrayed its current operation under the pretext of attacks by Hamas-led militants while hiding in a civilian neighborhood. Israel ordered civilians in part of Gaza City to evacuate to the south as heavy strikes and multiple casualties have been reported. According to Israeli media reports, the Lebanese paramilitary group Hezbollah, which has been supporting Hamas, fired 40 rockets toward the military base in northern Israel on Thursday. Hezbollah said the attack was in retaliation for Israeli strikes on the southern part of Lebanon. Israel has recently been raising the level of threat by posing targeted airstrikes toward the commander of Hezbollah. Pundits say that the warfare between Israel and Hezbollah will grow into larger wars unless they have a successful outcome for ceasefire negotiations. Cha Yoon-kyung, Arirang News.